Well, hey, welcome to this week's Refuel Devos, and we're doing a special Devo series. It's called Back to School Devos because this is Monday, it's Labor Day, it's your final day of freedom. So I hope you're finding something to do to enjoy your last day before many of you go back to school tomorrow. Um, so over the next few days, um, I'm going to be doing a, a Back to School Devo series with you, and I'm going to be sharing some stories from my time in middle school and high school and some lessons I learned and some verses to go with it from the Bible. Uh, so as you're thinking about tomorrow being the first day, I remember uh, the way I would feel when I would be getting ready to go back to school and I would have all my school supplies like ready to go. You know, I'd have like um, I'd have like the mechanical pencils that like were fully loaded with lead and like perfect erasers. I'd have like the pens like all ready to go. I'd have like a binder or something that I keep it all in and I'd have my backpack organized and I'd always say, I don't know if you do this, I always say, this is the year I'm going to be organized. Um, this is the year I'm going to stay on top of my assignments. I'm going to actually study and I'm going to do so well this year. But then if you're like me, about halfway through the year, not even halfway through the year. Uh, my locker began to be a science experiment. There were like lunches on the bottom of my locker underneath the, the books that I'd forgotten about and they were starting to smell. Uh, my mechanical pencils, I had lost like all of them. So I was asking people for, for, for pencils and pens. And where I went to school, you could get in trouble if you didn't have a pen or if you didn't have a, <laughs> a pencil. Uh, so I was always bumming pens and pencils off people. I was forgetting to turn in assignments and I was uh, forgetting or just not studying for tests. So we, we begin with this like excited, um, I guess you could say like blank slate at the beginning of the year. So we can be thankful that we have a, black, a blank slate. But as you get into the weeks and into the months of the school year, especially with this crazy, you know, hybrid, some of it's virtual, some of it's in person, or some of you are totally virtual, it's really easy for us to just kind of like lose focus. Uh, the Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, uh, verse 14, he said this, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call in Christ Jesus, forgetting what lies ahead and straining what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Um, you may have had a bad year last year. Uh, you may have not been great academically. You may have had difficult like things like socially at school this past year. But embrace this new year. Embrace this blank slate that God has given you. Uh, I would encourage you before you, I know your parents are probably going to want you to go to bed at a decent time tonight so you're ready for school tomorrow. I would encourage you before you go to bed and before you get, get ready for bed and all that stuff, um, spend some time in God's word today, t today or this evening and, and ask God to prepare you uh, to be a light for him in your school, to honor honor him in your school. And even that in your work, um, you will honor God as you press toward that mark for God's calling in every part of your life, including your school life. Have a great day. I'll be praying for you as you start school tomorrow.